All right, let's do this. I've got a P. Okay, a horizontal wire is shown and stuff is happening. So I'm going to draw a free body from that point. So at that point, we have T to the right. We have mass times gravity holding us down. And we have some force if holding us up over there. We know better than to put components on our free body. So we're going to sketch them off to the side. And we say, well, that's F. This has to be F cosine theta because it's adjacent to that angle. And this is F sine theta because it's opposite that angle. Okay, so I'm going to draw, this is my free body diagram that I'm going to show to get all the points. This is a separate thing that I'm making to actually help me solve the problem. So going up is F sine theta and going over is F cosine theta. And we're at equilibrium, so the ups and downs should balance, and the lefts and right should balance. So F sine theta should equal mg, F cosine theta should equal t. And we're going to call this t max because the problem told us to. We're eventually trying to solve for mass, um, and none of the answer choices have f in them. So let's get f by itself so we can make that go away. So I'm going to say f is t max over cosine theta. I'm going to plug that F in over here. So I'm going to put T max over cosine theta. That's what I'm putting instead of F. Sine theta is still over there. Sine theta equals mass times gravity. Now, there's a law from like trig that you need to know. Sine theta divided by cosine theta for some reason equals tangent of theta. I don't know why, I just know that it does. So we have a sine over cosine situation here. So T max also equals the tangent of theta. That equals mg. And I think we need to get m by itself. So we're going to do T max times the tangent of theta divided by g. That is our mass. That's how you do that. Why our AP Physics 1 kids need to know this? To know but they do for this problem.